What's up guys, Seattle Gamer here, back on our first look video, the series where I play a video game for the very first time for your visual enjoyment. It's been a little while since we've done this, but this game kind of caught my eye. This is the crow's eye. What is it? I really don't know. It's a first person terror game that is loosely based off of Bioshock and Amnesia of the Dark De Descent, so... Good luck to me, apparently. It has really, really awesome music here, although it's gone now. There's really not a lot of options. This is the demo. There's just voices in English and Spanish and text in English to Spanish as well. So I'm just going to start up the demo. I really don't know much about this, so we'll see what happens. Okay, we've got QWER, ASDL for light. Okay. All right, so pretty standard controls, looks like. University of Crowswood, 1966. Really, uh, really digging the graphics so far. I can see what they mean by loosely based on Bioshock. Let's uh, interact a bit here. It is very dark, though, although being a horror-esque type game, that doesn't surprise me too much. Can we open? No, not. doesn't look like it. Unless it's a different... Oh, it's E. Interact with E. Oh, okay. I would have guessed one of the mouse buttons. That's all right. Oh, wow. Little bit of acceleration issues when you're running. So. But. Oh, there's nothing in here. I was hoping for something in one of these cabinets. It says to explore around. So yes, I know there's a, a lighter or something on the table. Oh, you can pick stuff up. Excellent. Anything in here? No. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll start by picking up our, our Zippo lighter here. All right, let's see. Let's explore around a little bit. Uh, how do we, oh, L was the lighter if I remember right. Or F? Somewhere around here. I don't know. What what you got for me? Oh, E. Okay. There April second, nineteen forty seven. Two days, and I've not yet left this room. I'm getting paranoid. I can't stop hearing strange noises. It's almost been a week since the university was evacuated. I've been building up a fort on the third floor, in which I am right now to protect myself. The problem is I don't know what I'm supposed to protect myself from. I'm going to screw up my courage to get out and see what's going on. All right. So if you guys could hear that, he said that the university that we're in right now has been evacuated, but he doesn't know why. He's barred himself up in a room, and maybe we'll go find him. You need a key to open this door. Okay. I have, I have a suspicion the key is in here. Oh, I, I, I was right. Okay. Here we go. Picked up key. Excellent. So we don't know what's in here. And now... Ooh. I like that painting. And now we're, we're boned, basically. So how do we use the lighter? Let's, let's see. Do they have... Oh, there is an options menu. Let's take a look here. You just have volume for audio. Graphics, anti-alien... All right. Sorry about that. It, it cut out on me. And isotropic filtering, we'll leave that off, I guess. V-Sync's on, light quality, shadows, brightness, motion blur, and mouse sensitivity. All right. Stats. Uh, you can show your FPS, your tris, tries, I'm not sure, and your vertices. System. Okay, this just tells you a little bit about my computer and stuff. Okay. But there was no rebindable controls or anything. Interesting. Also, I didn't see any controller options. Keep in mind, this is a demo of this game, so anything could really change. They could update anything. In fact, they asked me for feedback when I'm done. So if you have any feedback for them, let me know, or you can tell them yourself. Um, I'll link down there on Greenlight right now, as well as Kickstarter. So I'll leave all those links you need down below if this looks like something you'd be interested in. Uh, can we pick up cigarettes? Can we use the cigarettes? Uh, it doesn't appear. So, let's see what's in here. 
Just some books. Okay. Very, very dark. I guess I could turn up the lighting a little bit. Might be hard to see. There's just science equipment and stuff in here. Oh, wasn't grabbing it. There we go. Let's bludgeon something to death with a microscope. How does that sound? That sounds pretty good to me. Oh, is this going to be another key thing? No, it's not. Okay. We got our trusty microscope weapon. Oh. Oh, great. Something is now going to kill me. Excellent. Or not. I'm not quite sure. There's a wooden pallet. Uh, there's a piano. Can we play the piano? That'd be awesome. Unfortunately not. That's all right. All right. What else we got? Now, this game did say that it rewards people who search around and explore. Oh, that's just water. Elvis must have died on the toilet upstairs. All right. This door is blocked. All right. I wonder if that means this game is fairly linear. Usually you get stuff like that when you have linear games. So, if I remember right, Amnesia was fairly linear. And it's been a while since I played Bioshock, but I thought it was, at least the first one was fairly linear as well. I mean, you could go around and explore later, but it was kind of a set path for the main mission that you followed. All right, I don't see anything down here, but there is some light over here, so let's check that out. What's this? The restroom. Are we going to get killed in a restroom? That would be embarrassing. No whiskey in a toilet. If this is truly like the original Bioshock. They would have whiskey in a toilet. Here we go. I don't know why that was one of the things that was really mo uh, memorable. Out of service... Oh, we found something. What is this? Picked up a ladder. Okay. Apparently the toilet was out of service because there was a ladder in there. Go figure. Here we go. Um, can we kill something with a mop? Or a broom, rather? Maybe not. Yes, we, we will sweep you to death. This is Dust Force-esque type of gameplay. Can we turn on lights? does not appear we can turn on lights. Although, there's some sort of a map. You are here, I guess? Is there a second restroom? There is a second restroom. This is the men's room. So, it's going to smell a lot worse in here, apparently. Yep, definitely the men's room. Ooh. Superman urinated in this one last. What is going on here? There's a ladder. I keep trying to left click everything. I keep forgetting it's right click. Here we go. So, thought so far, I love the graphics. And one thing I haven't noted or I haven't really said so far is the what I'm assuming is health and something or other underneath it in the top right corner and then obviously your inventory in the bottom corner there. So, bottom left corner, rather. Save game. Okay, so this is your save point. La Fortuna. All right. Can we use our, our Zippo? I'm hitting a bunch of buttons. Negatory. Oh, tab. Tab, okay. Now I have an arm. Ooh, arm. Let's see. I'm glad, however, I'm getting a constant 60 frames per second. That's very nice. Some ghosting. I'm not sure if that's my computer or not. You need a key. Okay, so we're supposed to be looking for a key. So. Ladder. What can we do with the ladder? Inventory. What else do we have? We have notes. And recordings, that's that's what we talk. So, very nice. So, can we turn on our lighter? That would be very useful. Oh, yes, we can. It was F. <laughs> mm, pardon me, how to sneeze there. Sorry about that. All right. I don't know if I ever mentioned this to you guys, but I'm actually allergic to beer and uh, most wines and most beers. Um, so, that's why if I'm usually sneezing, 
It's because maybe I had a beer with with lunch or something. Or not lunch, dinner. And so, yep. Now, when I say I'm allergic, what I really mean is it makes me sneeze because of the sulfates in the beer and the wine, which is what they use for preservatives. Um, it's I'm not going to die or anything, unless maybe possibly if I drink too much and fall down a well or something. But it's just mostly inconvenient. I'm assuming maybe the key is in a toilet or something. I could see that being a very distinct possibility. No, We also can't flush the toilets. Not that that's, you know, something that's actually needed. It's just, you know, little, ooh. Is that a, that's like a, a cable. That does not look very, very, uh, safe. We can pick this up. Can we use it to electrocute ourselves with the cable? These are the questions, people. Does not appear so. Also, it appears that our lighter lasts forever, which is probably because it's a Zippo. Zippos are very nice lighters. There's a lot of really cool history and stuff from Zippos. I like the reflection of the light. The reflections themselves aren't very good, but that's all right. It's better than I could do, that's for sure. All right, here we go. Nope. Out of service. Nothing here. I wonder if to get to the key... Oh. That is just disgusting. Is this the out of service one? No, it's not. It's this one. So the one with the poop coming out of the wall is not the out of service one. Interesting. Oh, can we... Ooh, look at the flame dynamics they have there. Very nice. All right, here we go. Nothing in here. I know I've already checked these, but now I have a light. All right, so we have a light and a ladder. And we need to find some sort of a place to put the ladder, possibly. Or a key. And by a key, I do not mean the Spanish word for here. All right. What is, oh, that's our trusty microscope. Anything in here? Can we open up the bottom? No, we can't. What else? A little bit of a frame rate drop there. Must be because of the lighting. Once we turned on the light, it's it's been dropping a little bit. So this this door is blocked. I wonder if we have to find a way into it somehow. So where could that be? I don't know. It's not down here by the door. That would be silly. Okay. It's not down here by the door. What do we got? Smoke, mastil, be happy. Less nicotine, less additives, less irritating. Huh. Science is the religion of the modern world. I kind of have to agree with that to some, some extent. I mean, I'm not a Scientologist or anything crazy like that. Can we light a cigarette? No, we can just move that. All right. I officially have no clue where I'm supposed to be going. I guess that's part of this this game, though, isn't it? That it, it teaches you to explore around. What do we got? We got a syringe. Let's take that. Okay, and we picked up some cloth. Now there is some sort of a crafting thing that goes on as well with this game. Can we use this syringe? Apparently I used the syringe. Oh, looks like our health did go up, excellent. So I know this is where we were before, but I'm completely lost. It's a box, almost like a Rubik's Cube. Here we go. Where, okay, 
I'm going to assume it's somewhere outside of this room. Because that's the starting area. Why would it let us come in here if there's nothing we can do in here? This ladder is very unstable. Can I move the ladder somewhere? Is this, is this the ladder that we took? Is that ladder still in our inventory? It is. Metal step ladder. That's literally all it says. We have screwdrivers here. Let's check. Both flathead. I really have no clue. No clue where we're supposed to be going. Anything in here? Move. Move. Eh. Nope. Although I did figure out when you're not stuck on boxes, you can sprint around. Yeah. Where are we supposed to go? We have a ladder, which leads me to believe we have to go up. Is it here we have to go up? Can we, okay, can we move this? Can we say that to number two? No. How do we use this? I want to use this ladder. My guess is that it's used for a very specific purpose somewhere, and you have to find that exact location before you can use it. That would be my guess. Move chair. It's a little bit of an annoyance. It's all right. Okay. Anything we can do with this hydrogen? Danger. I'm not quite sure. Is there anything below? Ooh, I found a bug. All right. It's really hard to move stuff. Look at that. There we go. It must be having to do something with some sort of a friction. Once it's up in the air, it's not too bad. You can even throw stuff. Oh, look, we broke it. We left... There's a, a bloody handprint on this. Okay, is there something we can do with this? No, there's not. Okay. What do we got here? Tissues? Possibly. Make ourselves a uh, frappuccino. Okay. I am officially lost. I have absolutely no clue what I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm sorry if this has been rather boring to watch me just stumble around like a blind idiot. But that being said, I have high hopes for this game. Is there... What's back there? I don't know. I have high hopes for this game. It, it's very promising. And I just... At least from the graphics and and what it's what it says on the Kickstarter page. And what they're, they're suggesting this game could be. And that being said, I'm not much of a horror game person. But if you are a horror game person. And you like games like Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Or games like Bioshock. Is Bioshock considered a horror game? I never considered it one. Um, and I, I love that game. Press E to what? There's some... Press E key. What did that say? It's kind of hard to read. Definitely a little bit of... Oh! Oh, okay. We're making progress. Here we go. We are now in a vent. I actually designed HVAC as my engineering job for a living. So, this is not what I do. I do not crawl through vents. They're actually very unstable. They're not very well attached to to your, uh, your trusses and stuff. So, you actually probably couldn't crawl through these. At least not very easily. Is this where we came up? This is where we came up. Okay, so there was one path that split here. I know this is a very long video, but I'm excited to see kind of more of this game. That's a fan. Okay, we are falling. See, this is exactly what I was talking about. And there's blood. See? See, this is why you don't crawl through vents, guys. You fall into the abyss. That's, that's why. Where, ooh, that's kind of a cool looking ceiling. Is this like a library or something? No, maybe not. It's really cool looking. Um, somebody shit themselves up here, but all right. 
So, PSA, don't crawl through vents, kids. Unless you weigh zero pounds. Okay, there's creepy things happening now. We have lock picks. We picked up pick locks, but really it should say lock picks. Can we pick up that? No. Okay. So, we're, we're getting there. My sound ap appears to have... Okay, we can move this. My sound in this game appears to have cut out on me. This... Okay, this is the door that was blocked. Gotcha. This must have been where people were holding themselves up. So, I apologize for the lack of sound, guys. I'll, I'll mention it to the developers. In fact, they'll probably watch this video. Because I'm going to send it to them as well. So... We got cl cloth and tape. If we were MacGyver, we could make a bomb out of cloth and tape. And we could blow ourselves out of this place. Hmm. I do not see anything else of worth. There is, in fact, a periodic table. Which is of worth in itself. I'm assuming there's a key in here somewhere. Just... Oh! No! We have lockpicks! That's right. That's right, we don't need a key. We don't need no stinking keys. We got lockpicks. I'm going to get through this door, and then I'm going to call that the end of this episode. And if you guys want, you can figure out what happens on your own. You need a key. I have lockpicks. I shouldn't need a key. Can I use the lockpicks? How, how do I use the lockpicks? May I use the lockpicks? Go, go, gadget lockpicks. No? All right, guys. I've exhausted everything that I can do. I'm hitting one. I'm hitting all of the buttons on the keyboard. Uh, eh. Okay. So I, I have no clue what I'm supposed to do here. I thought maybe with lockpicks we would be able to pick that lock, but apparently not so. So if you want to see what happens, well, you'll just have to try out the demo for yourselves. I'll leave a link down below if you want to check out the demo. So, And then the link will also link you to the Kickstarter page, as well as Steam Greenlight. If you like what you see, think about helping them out on one of those two means. Oh, can we go in here? That is what we're supposed to do. Ah, oh, we're getting there. We're getting there, guys. So, but that is all I have to say. I am going to keep wandering around. Oh, click, click faster. Ah, we used a lockpick. We're figuring things out. I'm sure that if there was sound, that would have been very scary. This has been the crow's eye. I had never seen oh. anything. Now we have sound. Now we don't have sound. All right, this has been the clothes uh, cro the clothes eye. <laughs> this has been the crow's eye. If you like it, there's the links. I already said that four times the now. I will like see you guys in the next video. I feel I'm turning into a madman. <laughs>